In this video, we're going to focus on the Zoom View options in the Chart.js plugin, Zoom in Chart.js. And what we're really going to do here is what we did previously, we're going to activate the scrolling effect on the mouse wheel. So let's start and explore that one. So right now, if we have this here, we have this Zoom here. However, this is nothing basically been activated here. As you can see here right now, it's just a basic panning. But if I scroll here or nothing happens, the zoom, nothing happens at all. So we're not able to zoom. So let's start to activate the zoom. To understand how to activate the zoom, we just check here in the wheel and then it says wheel options. And to make sure what it is, is basically here, we just put in wheel. And then from here in the wheel options, we can just put in the item. And what we can do here is first to do enable. And then we say here true. Once we save this and refresh, you can see now if we scroll in and scroll out, we're able to do the zoom. And what is now also quite nice is we are now able to do our panning. So now we can pan left and right as well. So let's adjust that to put in an X. So we have only the horizontal pan. So the panning is only really active, active the moment you zoom in. Because as you can see here, as we zoom in, but you can see here now, if I zoom in, I cannot go up and down, but I can go left and right specifically. So this might be useful depending on where you will be zooming in. But you can see here, now we can move left and right, our panning works. However, it makes more sense to have X and Y panning. So that if you zoom in, you can still go up and down. Because what happens if you zoom in in a certain spot, it will zoom in this item. So for example, if I would zoom, let's refresh here. If I zoom here up, and maybe I want to go down eventually, I need to have the Y panning active or else I'm not able to go down. I only see this part up. Then I have to be very specific in my scrolling or zooming in where I have to pinpoint this. So this is why it's best to have these two just activated here. So you always have this. You can use the scale mode if you want necessary. Depends on yourself. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.